it seems that in um, clinical and every other circumstance there are always opportunities for development. And uh, but there was a time in the um, early and mid 80s when the um, computerization of medical activities was particularly interesting because the uh, applications had not been fully explored and no one was perfectly sure how uh, they might be. And one feature of this was the extent to which uh, regional uh, nephrologists uh, uh, ran with the ball as far as early clinical informatics was concerned. Um, many of them were uh, single or dual handed and at the time with uh, kidney um, failure patient uh, populations increasing at 6 and 8% a year, there was a kind of austerity of, uh, uh, of uh, senior staff, if you like, and means had to be found to safely manage uh, large numbers of, uh, of patients. So there, was a, there were one or two really big drivers in that, uh, uh, in that scenario for people to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to develop, and they did develop. It, uh, I think successfully, but also there are a lot of other applications. Planning uh, services, for example, was taken on board, uh, and uh, a, a whole range of computational and other um, uh, developments. So it was a very open, um, open field, and uh, this was reflected nationally in the uh, development of the British Journal of Healthcare Computing, for example, and uh, the awarding of uh, uh, prizes and so on and so forth. Um, the problem being, however, that uh, uh, the um, applications were so diverse that it was not easy to keep them together and um, the health service, even being an integrated uh, uh, structure, there were m many parochialisms and colleagues developed those and so you, you developed a diversity of uh, systems, methods and uh, aspirations which uh, made it difficult to hold together and it wasn't until the mid 90s and the development of the renal registry uh, with, a f with the formal approval of the uh, Department of Health and Renal Association that all of those strands came back together again. So there was a sense in which uh, the uh, 1980s was uh, a grand rehearsal for some of the, uh, the later developments, not least in familiarising um, uh, clinicians with uh, the possibilities and showing uh, uh, the way in which uh, th those possibilities uh, um, uh, could be developed.